just landed in Seattle. We're about to pick up our new luxurious car. Very excited about this one. <laughs> also, Ben's been wearing his Heelys around the airport. And he absolutely ate sh going into our plane. Did you save that video? Yeah. <laughs> My wheels got stuck. I come around the corner, did you see Ben going straight into the yeah. jet? I legit <laughs> face landed into the wall at full speed. Everyone just turned around, because I mean, I it's imagine just, it was loud. It was pretty scary. scary. Dude, I'm feeling on some bullshit today, boys. <laughs> Rumor has it, Seattle's like the shittiest town in the world right now. That's Portland. Oh, that's act I was actually thinking of Portland. That's the place with like the uh, separate village. Chaz. Chaz. Oh, yeah. Thank you. That was here. Oh, that oh, is geez. here. Ben, we could leave you here. You could join. The only guy in our group that would join Chaz would be Micah. <laughs> like, look at all these tents, bro. Holy what is going shit. on? Is this Chaz? No, this isn't Chaz. Ben, you seem to know so much about Chaz for never being here. <laughs> Here we are, boys. How are you guys doing? I'm Josh. Ben. Nice to meet you. My car is actually up the street. You guys think it's funny because that's exactly how I felt. I saw it for sale and I'm like, this thing's kind of cool, but like, <laughs> it, <laughs> it's kind of weird. It just so. makes no sense for like the normal person to want a Lamborghini, but for it to be fake. Like, that's just such a bad flex. It's like you couldn't afford the real deal, so you just bought the fake one and then you're trying right. to like pass it off. How we're doing it? It's as a joke, yeah. but it's it's not funny when people think it's serious. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny, like how many people, like I, I stopped and got gas and this lady's like, oh my gosh, what kind of car is that? Do you just think it's a real it? Lambo? Yeah, oh yeah. People think it's so real, it's so funny. I can't even tell you how many people were taking pictures. Really? <laughs> like, like a safety It's so hazard. funny. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Wow! Oh my gosh! Dude, this color is incredible. This is perfect! No one is gonna know. Bro, oh it's even faker God. than I thought. <laughs> Those wheels are actually pretty sick. Does it actually have Brembo's? No, they're fake. <laughs> <laughs> Everything on it is fake. <laughs> Wait, is the motor yeah, it's in the back. back? Really? So what kind of motor is in this? Like a Pontiac 3800 supercharged V6. <laughs> so like, it's not slow. Oh, no way, I didn't know it had the Lambo door. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yes. That fact that it had the Lambo doors makes it so much better. <laughs> and it's a manual. Holy f the headroom is terrible. I can't fit in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I am so glad we aren't driving this back. We almost were gonna make the decision to just mob this all the way home. It would have been like a two day trip. So just to be clear, this is a Diablo replica. Yes. So what year would it be a replica of? I believe it's like a 99 to 2001. Okay, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. 98 to 2001. I'm no expert in Lambo, I'm kind of obviously not even new to the game. I, this is fake, but. <laughs> <laughs> For the longest time, we were trying to find a fake Countach, and we found one on Facebook Marketplace, and we, we all messaged the guy separately trying to buy it, and he would not sell it to us. Really? Yeah, I don't know if he knew what possibly gonna be done to it. Not saying that we're gonna do anything to it. I don't care. <laughs> you guys can do whatever you want yeah. to it. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. First start. Hold on. Give me a sec. Dude. Uh. Dude. Honestly, it sounds pretty good. It's, it's about what you'd expect a Lamborghini like this to sound like. I don't know what I would even expect it to sound like. Well, should we go for a test drive? What? The bottom of the seatbelt needs to be bolted. Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, it's gotta be bolted like right here. There's I think we almost <laughs> drove this thing back to Minnesota. Holy shit. All right, hope we make it back. Oh. Oh yeah, it's rubbing on the body bad. Damn, dude. I don't know if we should buy this. 
I'm starting to second guess this. I'm also. Okay, what? Oh my god. What is that? Is it's that the, the wheel it's or? the wheel rubbing because the airlift's broken, dude. I knew it was gonna be a piece of shit, but not this bad. It's tough because it looks so dope. But for 26 grand? Trust me, I don't know if you want it. <laughs> CJ. I can't turn this thing Dude, on. what? This guy's reaction might have just sold it. He goes, just pull it into my driveway right there. And I <laughs> yeah, go, I'll drop I go, it off for I you, don't man. Think you want it. And he goes, well, I don't know about that. It just doesn't feel like right. <laughs> what? <laughs> God damn it. Something about the color of it, too, is kind of worrying me. What? and everything that's green like this we have trouble with. I'm like worried the brakes are gonna give out. I'm gonna go into this house right here. Jesus, this house right here. <laughs> that would not be good. We'd end up in their living room. Hey, what up? Wanna ride in our Lambo? What, so. I'll, I'll, what just happened? It just, what the f You legit can't make this up. Well, it starts. That's good. To fill the camera in, the guy wants 26k for this thing. We were under the assumption that it, you know, obviously had some flaws, but it wasn't this bad. We were, so we we were said, under the assumption that it was a fake Lamborghini, yeah. but it still functioned. It was a functioning fake yeah. Lamborghini. I don't want to pay 26k for this, dude. I'm completely honest. Oh, now we're getting honked at. I'd honk back at him, but my horn doesn't work. <laughs> ah, we're in a tough spot here, bud. Okay, sorry, but I don't yeah. like it. My daddy's. Oh, really? Yeah. He's letting well, you drive. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you must have been a good boy. No, I caught him cheating with on my mom with our maid, <laughs> and so he literally just gave it to me to, like, hush money. <laughs> well, don't wreck it. I should. <laughs> that guy. Nah. Maybe after that interaction, it's worth it. That'd be pretty, pretty fun to just everywhere we pull yeah. up, just have a different story. story. What should we do? I don't know what to do. I don't know. I feel like if the front lift was fixed, a lot of the problem would not be so bad. And he's giving a thumbs up. <laughs> I wish the front lift worked, cause like it's so tough. I, I literally can't even drive it out of the neighborhood. My guess is either the hose popped off, the compressor, or just the release is stuck open. Yeah. So I'm no BS. Like when me and my buddy drove it, it was working fine. Right. <laughs> like. I, yeah. I was part of me was like, do I really want to drive it because you guys are picking it up? And I knew some dumb thing was gonna happen, but I'm not trying to like work yeah. you guys. Obviously, yeah. I'm not, right. Hopefully, you guys think I'm. No, no, we know that. Dude, like, no, we know I'm that. I'm not doing yes. that at all. I, I know for a fact. What do you guys do? To it? <laughs> <I didn't> do anything? <laughs> it's the Brembo. What's it doing? Oh, like melted. I don't know. So being, you know, the kind of unexpected <laughs> issues with it, would you be able to negotiate on the price or? What are you into it for? I'm into it 22. If we give you 20, we'll, we'll take it off your hands? No. How I about, can't do that. How about 22? I do 23 on that. That's like as low as I'd probably go. Will you do 23 and take care of shipping? No. <laughs> I mean, we haven't even made it out of the neighborhood and it's had issues, this is my worry. Obviously, I mean, I drove it 90 miles home. Right. I never yeah. did any of this stuff, so like, of yeah. course, all this stuff comes up, but no, I, I understand where you guys are coming from. It's, yeah, 26 <laughs> grand is a lot of money for it. Meet me in the middle of 22.5, we got a deal. I have dudes that are still lined up to buy the car. Like, probably in every single state, I have a dude that'll pay 26 and they don't care about it. Alright, so well, like, 22.5? 22.5, I'm good with that. Alright, okay, All right. let's do it. I'm okay. good with that. Alright, cool. Alright, shit, we just bought a fake Lamborghini. <laughs> now, honestly, it's more of a Pontiac Fiero than a Lamborghini <laughs> at this point. You good? Alright, you know, as much as I love driving this thing. <laughs> Such a driver's car, man. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have to be patient until she gets delivered. Cormorant. Are you sure you don't want to just 
driving home. Make sure just, you can wait. Right, I just don't want paint chips on it and yeah. stuff, you know, oh, okay. like scratches. I want to keep this as low mileage as possible. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. There she goes. Man, I'm so happy to not be driving that thing anymore, honestly. I, was, I am going to have gray hair after this for the little <laughs> bit of remaining hair I have. Yeah, literally. Back in Cormorant, I just wanted to specify that Josh was by no means trying to rip us off there or like pull a fast one on us. I'm sure a few people would maybe think that after watching the video, but the lift did truly stop working that day. And he's, he's shipping the car to us, so it should be here within the next couple of days. This is a bit we like to call breakfast in bed. <laughs> He's gone. Hey, was it just me or did Ken f that up? <laughs> he kinda hey. did. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of water splash was that? I mean, it was a water splash. No, you like tiptoed in and just like slowly yeah, poured bro. it. You should have smacked him in the face with it. You said, get, you said get him head to toe. I meant like splash it up on him. <laughs> you still got wet. We still got the gist. Bro, I think you guys got the worst of it. Look at this. I'm a sticky mess. You two are truly a dream team. You know that? And now Mike's got I don't even know where he went. Look at this. Oh, 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 oh my God. He scared me. Holy fuck. Uh-oh. Who's Apple Watch? Well, obviously it's Mike, Ben. What do you mean, <laughs> who's that boy? The flower, though? That's a bad idea. Oh, was, man. That was supposed to be you, but Ken kind of f***ed up the whole prank. <laughs> I f***ed up the whole prank. He's still got water and flour on it. Mike's clean. You are just filthy now. <laughs> because of this guy. Look at his back. He's still filthy. Oh, yeah, shit. He got it pretty bad. <laughs> Ken, you got it in your beard, bro. Because <laughs> this dude's a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> so this is more of a prank on Ken and I. Uh, not, not so much. Ken kind of put it on himself. He's up. <laughs> that wasn't the gist, Ken. The point was not to wake him up. The point was to cover him head to toe in flour, oatmeal, and water. Okay, well, we were close. <laughs> now you just covered me in head to toe. Well, we'll get him next time. Came dressed for the occasion, huh? You like that? Yeah, you look good. What are you wearing, Ken? Where'd you even get one of those? Who's yeah. first in line? You didn't know that? No. Nobody tells me anything. I got you some waiters here, Ken. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm just here to film. Yeah, you're doing the most, Ben. Well, somebody's here, gotta. Drink your beer. Thank you're you. Been somewhat productive on this. You're the only one who hasn't cracked a beer yet, so. I've never been so peer pressured into uh, drinking a beer before, but. Yeah, welcome to. God forbid. Me, welcome to me 24 7. By who? Yourself? All right, so every year, me and our buddy BJ put in my girlfriend's dad's docks and lift. And this year, we convinced Ken to tag along. That's how we had an extra hand. Basically, we're, we're giving him some waders with a hole in it. And then I got a surprise for him in the boot here. Ken's really a heavy lifter. 12 ounces at a time. Yeah, it's beer, basically. I would take these ones, Ken. Those ones have a hole. All right. He's gonna break his ankle for a second. <sighs> nice. Oh, it's even warm. Man, it's been a while since I've seen a good old ice. Ken, 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 Ken. All right. You're doing great, man. Once you get that one out there, then we're gonna have you come back and grab the other one. Shit. Ken. Ken. What? What do you mean, what? This one's got a leak. Just walking in water, but being dry, I love it. I am not. Oh, really? <laughs> How bad? There's like both boots and my butt. It's like up to my ankles. My nuts are getting a little chilly. How much water's in there? A lot. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Jeez. I think it's up to my, it's up to my knees. <laughs> oh, no, it's up to my waist. You good? No. <laughs> Holy shit, Ken, why are you so wet? I'm not joking when I said they're leaking. Look at his shorts and his shirt. You good, Ken? I'm cold.
I had like hangover vibes when the one guy jumps out of that trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, don't be so confused. I'm gonna be running in traffic in my underpants. <laughs> <laughs> Where are your clothes? <laughs> I lost them. <laughs> I literally opened the fridge. That was not my call. Whoever last ate the fruit, which was me, <laughs> this thing was booby trapped. <laughs>